Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this problem, we're going to integrate cosecant of x times the secant of x with respect to x. Solution. So when you first see this problem, you probably think, um, is there a u substitution? Um, I wasn't able to find one. Um, if you let u be secant, then the derivative is secant tangent, so that doesn't work. If you let u be cosecant, uh, the derivative is negative cosecant cotangent, and that doesn't seem to work either. So as a last resort, um, I'm thinking we can write it as 1 over sine x, right? Cosecant is 1 over sine, and then secant is 1 over cosine x dx. Now, I haven't worked this out fully uh, yet, uh, but my idea is to write this as, uh, as follows. This is the integral of 1 over, let's just combine these, sine x, cosine x dx. And there is an identity um, that this reminds you of. Uh, if you know that the sine of 2x, well, that's equal to the sine of 2 sine x times the cosine of x, um, you can rewrite the bottom using this. So uh, we can divide both sides by 2. That gives us 1 half sine 2x equals sine x cosine x. So that was my idea uh, to use, use this identity and uh, go from, from there. Um, so let's try it. So this is equal to the integral of 1 over, and then we have the 1 half sine 2x and then dx. Good stuff. Um, the 1 half is on the bottom here, so when you pull it out, it's, 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 really, it's really this. Right? It's really 1 over 1 half. And that's the same thing as 2 over 1 times 1, which is 2, right? Because division is multiplication by the reciprocal. So this here will become a 2. So it'll be 2 integral 1 over sine 2x dx. And now 1 over sine is cosecant. So this becomes 2 integral cosecant 2x dx. So there is a formula for the integral of cosecant. Um, so if you integrate cosecant x with respect to x, it's equal to minus natural log absolute value cosecant x plus cotangent x plus c. So this is a, one of those formulas that is totally worth knowing. Um, it's a bit obscure. Not a lot of people know it. Uh, the one for secant is more common. Um, cosecant just doesn't come up enough, I guess, but it is worth knowing. The only difference here is that we have a 2x. So let's go ahead and make a u substitution. Let's let u be equal to 2x. And then so du uh, becomes 2dx. And oh, you know what? Let's, let's put the 2 back in. Let's write this as cosecant 2x times 2dx, right? We can put it back in. And so now it matches perfectly, right? We have our we have our du, and that's 2dx, so this here is our, our du. Pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool. So this will be equal to, we can change the variables now to u variables. This is the integral of cosecant. And we said u was 2x, so that's just u. All oh, this works out so nice. Did not think that would happen, du. Wow, beautiful stuff. So this is just using the formula, negative ln, absolute value, Cosecant of u, let's go ahead and skip a step here. Um, u is 2x, we know that already, plus cotangent of 2x, and then plus uh, our constant c. Uh, this problem is from uh, one of the M MIT Integration B uh, qualifying uh, exams, so kind of an interesting problem. Uh, is there another way to do it? I'm sure, I'm sure there are several ways. Uh, this is just uh, the approach I took. I hope that made sense.